Anyway. All right, I put all that lake video. Waste. What? Just reminding you, videos on. Oh hey. Oh hi. Hi. Okay, she want to sit hi. up or suck it in or something. I got to remember what time Where's they my go. Light? Well, we don't know when something crazy is going to happen, like Lake Waste Swap. So, I'm sorry you're bored. This goes up at seven o'clock. It should be. I wish it was live, but it's not. Long story. I'll tell someday in a podcast. Or, depending on what I sign and. Uh, there is uh, all that stuff up is on my personal Facebook page about the Lakeway thing, my own troll, and the link for you to get there. I mean, seriously. <laughs> I love how the lady says it's because she was she had blocked people and gotten threatened. Well, if I'm a if I'm an anti anti, it's just so stupid. I would love to talk to my father in law, but I know. I remember one time I tried to talk to my father-in-law about things I believed in and people I didn't believe in. And he said, uh, I said, Jack, you got to start, stop watching Fox. He goes, well, you know, Dale, CBS doesn't always tell the truth either. As if, who watches CBS? It's, it's, right. it's Murder, She Wrote Network. I know. ABC, New, uh, ABC World News Tonight with David Muir is the first television newscast on one of the big four networks to be number one in 34 years and they handle it with a plum hmm. it's really well done and he's dreamy my, my wife yeah your wife's got a thing no, for him right my wife has or you do for, my wife has a thing for tom yamas or one of the other guys you well, got a thing for him i got a thing for him yeah yeah you got a thing but uh, i was it's just like my father-in-law said something to me the other day you know in support of me he said well you know i'm a supporter and i just wanted to go i keep thinking about mailing him a book or two but it's that thing. No, you you got to learn to just shut you your. Can't. You got to so, shut your. Mouth. So an entire group of, uh, uh, not an entire group, but a good half, a little bit more than half of elderly people believe that people who protest are now part of Antifa, and they don't understand extremes anymore. Right. But if you ask them if they're for the Klan, they'll say, "Well, no, no." But yeah. it's the same. It's like lumping in the right with the Klan, right. which you can't do. I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy know. world, HI. Yeah. But uh, but my point was, if people are threatening you and you're getting death threats, mm -hmm. why would you put up questions as to whether or not you support Democrats, Black Lives Matter, or Antifa? Why would you put three challenge questions up that are that are so difficult? Yeah, what, where do you? I, I don't how, know. Where? How does that woman justify thinking? I know I'm being ridiculous here. Does she think that? Radicals who make death threats don't lie. Well, yeah, if I'm gonna for a really, deal on a on a, on a if, used dresser. I'm gonna lie. If she was really getting you know harassed, saying? she would say, "Send me a private message right. or do something yeah. where I can verify you live in Lakeway or surrounding." It's areas. just more right. old people mistakes. They don't understand how the internet works, especially when a news story gets out. Also, why does someone get into that business? Like, is there money? Can you make money? Off of hang on, Stephen. A no. site like Lakeway Swamp. No, no, no. And, and she's right in that. I mean, if you're an admin of a site, you have the right to let in or let out whoever you want to. Yeah. You absolutely it's a have private the right. group. It's, it, it's a private group. I just think it's funny because I think what happened is, I think they had that weirdo bunk post pinned to the top, and someone was probably like, "Why are you pinning this weird political crap in our swap group?" But it and then probably tried to explain, "Look, hey." You understand that BLM is not Antifa, right. and Antifa is not BLM. And there's crossover at these big. Is a, mm -hmm. is a BLT is a BLT Antifa? But it begs the question: Are we vetting people on our site? Are we vetting people on vetting our site? Yeah, on the fan pages and stuff. Hell, no. No. have you ever seen what they write about us? <laughs> there's a lot on of a fan page. Views on oh, our are there? Oh, okay. yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, dude. All right. Well, maybe we should put a questionnaire up there. But they're still fans. Oh, there's a little roadblock. A man, somebody made my wife an administrator. Yeah, and I'm like. She demanded Stop it. it right now. Who did she demanded it when? Mm -hmm. uh, she demanded. Yeah, a while back. She wanted to see who was it's sliding into your DMs. What am I going to say huh? no to her? What? She kicks yeah. a lot. Of, she I, bans a lot of people. I'll, you should said I'll ask Dale. She bans me. She's like more my, or my boss than you. Or I'll, ask, or I'll ask CJ. Your wife does seem more like you, our boss than you do. Like I just know that. All right. Yeah, she does command. You know respect. Lena, I, I thought I had a retort, and I didn't. I just stuttered. I was going to say, at least I don't let my wife go out with ex-boyfriends and stuff. 
Who's that? I'm not sure who that was aimed at me oh, or didn't Matt. It, didn't Matt, didn't the guy make a bunch of paintings for a Matt's wife? And he's yeah, all okay. cool that with him hanging out. Yeah. No, they're not paintings. They're uh, photographs. Oh, it's photographs. But he, uh, but, he, but he did cut his ear off and send it to her? No, he had a bunch of photographs he sent her. He had taken a bunch of nudes of her, and he mailed them to us. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, what's up? Steven? Hey, you guys, you guys need to check out Bass Drop by Soul Trade. Because no. the admin, it got so bad, the admin quit. So there's no <laughs> admin on that site. It is just free range, hatred, conspiracy theory. What kind of stuff can you get? It. So it's the internet. See, that's a great, that's an easy way to get hurt if you're if you're using your real name and they know you're in the area. Uh, that's dumb. <laughs> I don't get there. I realized I'm a member of my homeowners group on Facebook, and I've got to end that right away. Um, oh my God! I got to show you guys this how ridiculous my my home has become. Uh, thanks, Stephen. You just reminded me. I meant to do this thanks. to you last week. So you know, a few years ago, twin, in the midterm elections, mm -hmm. I, I I don't believe in putting up signs on your yard or on oh, your yeah, you car. Show, yeah, right. You don't want to call I, attention. When I was a kid, I would see Nixon or I would see Carter, and I'd go, "Why does anybody put that on their car?" Mm -hmm. In the history of all mankind. No one's been driving my, behind a car and seen a bumper sticker and go, you know what? I will vote for Clinton. Yeah, That sticker's kind of pretty. I don't know. Maybe one or two. No. So my wife puts up a Ted Cruz. Uh, uh, not a Ted Cruz. She I was going to say. She, that, she no. puts up a Beto O'Rourke. And then our neighbor, Patsy Keith, puts up a Beto O'Rourke. Okay. Well, our neighbor across master, the street. Master Beto O'Rourke. Get it? Our, our, Get our, it? Our neighbor. <laughs> now, and I did something wrong, and I'll admit, I, I will omit it. Uh, he, um, he, he kind of straddles our property lines. He put up not one, but two Ted Cruz signs. Mm -hmm. to, that's a counter. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, but I never wanted to be involved in this. I know, but that's how elections take place. A car drives through, it counts up all the yard signs uh -huh. and that's who was elected. The that's, person with the most yard that's signs. That's how the electoral college works. That's I think. the electoral so, college. So I'm were, pretty sure. Don't they send one of those Google cars through or something? So they, Google car. He canceled so, your votes. Yeah, but here's you what happened, because I'm stupid, and uh, there's this nice man that the past two or three years down the street, he's brought popcorn over for my children, so I can't be mad at him. Wait, wait just out of the blue, he brings like, popcorn to your children? Open popcorn? Well, like Popcorn, and then one of the sections. Like with like, razor blades? One, like chicken one, one, one of the sections Chip is condoms. Now he'll come over. Is, it, just, hand, I, is it like... Made in his kitchen, or no, is it? No, no, no. It's one of those popcorn with various. Ah, things. like a can, a can of corn. So anyway, does it have the little the scotch tape so around anyway, the, the so lid anyways, to, for safety? We just you know, on Facebook, you're just riffing. Yeah, and I put the thing up of the, of the opposing signs. Right, and I for, and I wrote, I want, I wonder what he how he feels about my black neighbor. Uh oh, which uh, whose name I don't know. I do know his name. <laughs> If you could give me 45 minutes, I will remember his name, Lance. So, wow, that didn't take me long at all. But you just and, call and him But Lance, Lance and we, well, we don't talk there very, very much. When we see each other, we've, we we have a conversation. I've invited them over, but they don't like us. So, <laughs> And that's all I put. And I understand why the man got upset. But back when I could get my cameras to work because I had them IP forwarded that no one will help me with the IP forwarding. Right. I don't know no, why no one can help me with this system so that i can see hot women in the backyard that i might share online to the high def cameras mm. don't rob me i still have the high def cameras so once they get me out of the pool of blood they'll go up to the yeah. main vcr and pull and see who did it no robin but so, if you are a hot woman come hang out in his front yard please so <laughs> i'm sitting there in the bathtub the doorbell rings before i had a ring doorbell and i pull up the cameras and there's a dude and he's talking to Amanda, and I'm thinking, what is this? That yeah. looks like the neighbor. And sure enough, the neighbor came over to confront me about my post on Facebook. No popcorn. Which was one of, but I remembered in the back of my head, Matt Bearden saying, dude, you do realize how big you are. So I put on the leather coat. But did he come over angry, or was he trying to settle it? Uh, like, he was a nice like, guy. Like, hey, man, he's a nice guy. I, I'd rather you not he call was, me a racist if yeah, I Yeah, he was a nice guy. And candidate. I went over, and I said, here's my feelings about Ted Cruz, and, and, uh, and they both kind of shook their head in agreement. His oh, it's wife, like a town hall. His wife, you know the thing where you're being nice, but your wife's glaring. I, I mean, I, I misinterpret stuff all the time. Like my, I just wrote my shrink and said, "Wow, I just read that tourist. It probably wasn't tourist, you know." And then when I brought up that I'd been molested, 
And <laughs> and that that was the reason. Does everyone? Does every? Does, what, ev- do you lead with that? Oh, wherever I go, wherever <laughs> I go, I, I should, it's like, I hey, love, love right. you, love the show. I, I'll say, oh, nice to meet you too. I was molested. Don't let that happen to those kids right there. <laughs> you must be a joy. At the you want some popcorn, store. kids? Want some popcorn? <laughs> so, so I, no, I led with that on why I wasn't a fan of the person I'm scared to talk about right, now because right. of, 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 anyway, Trump. And then, so he, uh, that's when their faces weren't as smiley. And I walked away, and I think they've waved once or twice. That sounds good. Since That's good. You've got to be Positive. neighbors, good Absolutely. neighbors. Positive. But then the pop, I know the popcorn guy was the one that narked Do you on stop him. him when he's passing by? I don't, well, he's somebody, a popcorn man. Somebody saw it on Facebook. Yeah. And Amanda told me that she thinks it was popcorn guy, who's a nice guy, huh. but they, those two talk a lot. So since Who then, can take a status post and rat you out to now, the neighbors? The happened, popcorn man, man can. If that had happened ten or fifteen years ago, I'd be sick in my stomach and think I need to move. Blah yeah, blah blah. But you should move. But it's like no, I you're the king I, of that neighborhood. And his his kids, his adult kids, have waved at me, and I I just go in my garage. I don't bother. I'm not the radio guy when I get up. Hey, here. I can help you with Lance. Hold by on. the way, if you want Lance to come over to your pool party, you got it. You got to not play that Michael Bublé. At the pool party, Lance Amanda didn't play Michael Bublé, and Lance, by the way, is the guy with the, with the the electric bill. It's only seven bucks a month. How does he do that? Oh, he's, he's got, got solar. The... Get out of. Yeah, yeah, he's got. Is that solar. a real thing? You got to break the Luther out. He gets paid from the electric company in the winter. Ah, that's science fiction. So anyway, you tell me there's electric cars next. Mm-hmm. So the next no. thing, all these BLM Antifa people are there. It's what they're doing. Oh, they're making the government pay them for electricity. Huh? They got it dialed in, man. You know when Amanda put the sign up that says, I'll show you in a second. I got to move over. If you're going to put it on the screen, I want the people to know. We home. believe in, you know, equality. Blah, and th- blah. this house believes that. Right. Science get, is real. Uh, Black was, Lives Matter. That men all, making out what? is hot. Guess what? Nobody came over to thank us. Lance didn't come next door and go, hey, thanks for the sign. I have a problem with that sign. <laughs> you know what? The text, the BLM text is the, like the smallest text on yeah. the whole sign. No, you don't understand. Lance may also feel that putting up a sign as uh, the. The we, laziest okay. way to, I, do to support. I'm I'm doing a divorce. I'm doing a divorce me show because this is the second thing I've jumped on. Uh, I want right. to see okay. this. All right, here, here we go. go. Can everybody on see? Screen. Here we go. I also downloaded all screen. my pictures in the history of my phone. Son of a. And you would not believe the okay. naked pictures I have on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Why so. do you have a Confederate flag on your I, on your desktop? I just screen capped it to put it up on the Lakeway sw- Swapping Show. Your Honor. Okay, I just <laughs> I, I like like some members of the Who. I was that's, just researching that, child that's pornography. A, that's my front yard right now, and I'm going to turn myself into the HOA. Look at this. Wait, wait. Why are the signs facing away from the street? They, they're equal on both sides. We we don't believe in one side. Oh, of this. they're equal on both sides, yeah. just like gay. So people. we have we believe Black Lives Matter. No humans are illegal. Love is love. Women's rights are human rights. That's in small type, so it doesn't count. <laughs> Science is yeah, real. What's... Water is life. And I don't know what the last one says. What does it say? Uh, something everywhere. Justice everywhere. Uh, uh, oh, justice. I wish a... justice was everywhere. Oh, if justice is threatened somewhere, it's, it's threatened threat everywhere. Something? Okay. Yeah. Then her realty company, Realty Austin, we're for here. I don't even know what that means. We're for here. And then the other one is... I think, you they, know what's misspelled? I think it's we're for hire, but the printer screwed up. And then the other up. one says, a call for community building neighborliness and love. Now, okay, we Dude, want... that sign. you have that more sign, crap in your front yard? That's what I said! My wait, Lord! Hey, wait, till Halloween, wait till the holiday season and rolls around. Her, There's I enough said, room for a trampoline right there. <laughs> I told her, to, I said those other two were coming down. And it's, look, the, but a call, now the story I just told you. A call for community building and neighbor neighborliness. Not one neighbor has come over because of that sign going, hey, just wanted to. Well, because they think you're advertising for uh, that realty company. Yeah, that's what it is, probably. But, I mean, it looks gaudy and it looks silly. Dude. Plus, plus, it doesn't work. Nobody drives by. Chew, are you busy this weekend? You know what that? You know what happens? That's just people who disagree with me just drive by and go, I damn live dark. I damn live and I damn live dark. Look at that. Ruin this pretty neighborhood. Huh? Look Hike. at that. Their house is bigger than ours. What the hell is that all about? How are you keeping your lawn alive? 
I'm uh, impressed. That is that is pretty green grass uh, with some year. I'm impressed. You're violating the so. rules right now until <laughs> yeah. I get home and change the sprinkler to one day. Uh, I don't know. Four hundred dollar a month water bills. What do you want? So look at that. That's my front yard. <laughs> you have right there, right house. there on that sign. It says "Water is life," and you're just pouring <laughs> water out onto the lawn every day. What on earth is going through the Dudley's butt brain holes? That's Lance. Oh, I was about to put some of the swinging pictures my friend had sent me up that, that weren't on my phone, but I downloaded them from the cloud, mm -hmm. and then I realized we're on camera. Where's your Biden sign going to go? Is there room? I'm not putting a button. I don't. I'm not put. She's taking two of those down tonight. I bet she does it. Which I'm going to take All them right. down. Odds. Well, the one we're for here, what does that even mean? I, it's, I'm telling you, they screwed up at the printer. It's supposed to be Realty Austin. We're for hire. Anyway. They misspelled it. I think they left a W off. I think it was supposed to be we're for where. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Enough of that. No. But, boy, I found some good pictures, man. Mm. God, my buddy had such a good time when he was swinging. It's wait, crazy. Wait, we went from – how do – wait, well, wait, wait what's the connection? Them. Well, oh, I, I, but what do you mean – how long have you worked in this room, Bob? Well, I'd... everything is a connection to swinging for Dale. I thought we were looking at okay. signs well, in the yard. This... Boy, look at my wife when she was a bodybuilder. Go ahead. Oh, Throw it up there. Let the people at home. <laughs> he saw the word we, and we reminded him of more than look one person, and we that. was swinging. You know how your kids die as they get to be, uh -huh. the, ba the baby disappears? Did you did you snort your cocaine S off of that? No, that was her bodybuilding. Fright, right. Face. It feels like you should have been able to do cocaine at least one more time. Mm -mm -mm. I could look that good if you bought me boobs. Mm -mm. This is when a really famous friend of mine said, ask him if I could send him a picture of my wife sleeping. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Yeah, we have a show we have to do. I don't know where you just went. I was going to show you. Did you see how he just disappeared out of the show? He went from. Oh, I'm sorry. He was all fired up. Oh. <laughs> and he was just like. He, he was just like, suck this and, and blow, blow me, me down, down and that. And then all of a sudden, he's like, like oh, God, I wish I could in. swing. I wish I could swing. My in. friend was having so much fun. I don't get to have any fun. All right. I won't show. I think Chewy might want to well, see Well, remember, it. But we're on I'll camera now. Instead careful. of water is life, gonna show up to? change it to say swinging is life. See how many notices. Oh, do that. Put put a, a, what's the color light that you put on your front porch? You I thought a, you just you, did you put a pineapple in your front yard. No, that's a upside pineapple in your uh, in your shopping cart at the H E B or a rock. Oh, I oh you this. stack rocks on I your on your nights. on your porch. I missed that. Put it up there. No, I what, think. No, what 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 phase? What was Amanda's was, phase there? That was with our friend Molly. That's what that's what that was. When we got back together after really? uh, Dale? after a rough patch. Does he know we're on air? Does I he don't know care if we're on air. That's my that was at my buddy's house. <laughs> let me see. Well, let me see. Please tell me one of those isn't your wife. No, stacking them deep and selling them cheap. Dale. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Be careful. We're on camera. There's 15 cameras I'm in here. I'm not putting it on camera. There's cameras <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> stacking them deep and selling them cheap. Oh my god, man, that looks like fun. I want to be. Yeah, just Dude, ask Dude, he had that some parties. Friend. He had some parties that oh, were not even. I need to be his friend. Well, you know what? Did I delete him? Oh crap! Anyway, I'll look. I'll show you later. Let's do something in the news. I don't even know where I am right now. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. What are we doing? Well, You're that the... Lakeway thing took off, didn't it? Oh, yep. Yeah. I've I've put it all on my Facebook page. Uh. Oh, I want to do this one. Do we have. Yeah, this looks like a four minuter. That's Charcuterie this. just for rich people. Hold on, I got mask. Uh, uh, okay, hold on, I'm he's gonna coming. swing. What are you? No. What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. What are you doing over Nothing. there? Yeah, let's do that. Wait, wait, wait. What are you looking at? Nothing. What did you just get distracted? Mask by? girl was trying to give me a story about her not wearing a mask, and I'm not getting into. Okay, I'm not gonna okay, get into okay. science. Okay. You were wrong on your science. You tried to blind us with your science, but you're you're totally wrong in your you science. You let hot people really let it go, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, if someone's hot, Dale, with the amount if that if that guy from uh, the who's the city council member in Cedar Park, if he was a hot Tim chick, Kelly. if he if he was a hot chick, Dale would have a very different take about him. Oh yeah. No, I I think that I really make fun of people who have are a, not hot have a co Facebook page, a husband and wife Facebook page. Right. Right. What if they were swingers? Well, that you're not listening to my point. Okay. But I just got a friend request from one, and the wife was hot, and they're in instantly, hmm. instantly. 
Uh, do you want to do this? Flo- are we doing a floater? Did you see that no, study? No, no, no. I'm, getting re- I'm just getting oh, ready. Oh, we don't have time to get into the charcuterie. We got to do though. something. We Did got- you see that study, though? You brought up good-looking people where they said good-looking people are more likely to have a, a little bit get be a little lenient with their uh, sentence when it comes to uh, court cases and of things course. like that. Of course. Of course. There have been other studies that talk about how valuable your looks are, meaning that because you're attractive, you end up making over a lifetime like a half a million dollars more do you think, than an ugly do you sibling think would. Bob was our first choice for sidekick. Absolutely not. <laughs> wow. <laughs> This is one question for you, and we may have to come back to this. Uh, it's a it's a, a blog on motherboard, a motherboard on Vice. Uh, is charcuterie? Uh 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 uh. Sh- how how did Daniel pronounce it, and how do we pronounce it on the show? Now? Shakatari. If Shakatari. If charcuterie, I didn't know that word five six years ago. I didn't either. Is charcuterie just for rich people? We called it cold. That's cuts. what I always thought. The headline is: You don't hate charcuterie, you hate rich people. Here's the thing that's dumb about that. Though. They might be right. That's how poor people eat in other parts of the world. Not on a fancy board, all laid no, out perfectly. Yeah, because that's like forty dollars somewhere. That's not forty dollars. That one's about six. That that's one right a lot. there is that's about fifty. Well, maybe that one, but the be average average charcuterie is about forty dollars. Do you like a board of meats? And cheese. I do. I do now. I didn't like it because I thought this is what is what is this? Like, yeah, why is? But here's the deal. If I go to a restaurant, maybe they charge me, but but I can get that. Uh-huh. At the, I can get the stuff for at the store. Ten dollars. And I I can go no. to Home Depot on the way home and get a piece of wood. Or, hey, if you want to eat it off a piece of wood, yeah. <laughs> breathe in my ear. But come over to it and I'll make you a shakatari board. I like coarse mustard. The coarser, the better. I have mustard um, that goes, get out of here, you Mexican! <laughs> is that coarse enough for you? It's fairly coarse. Yesterday, Twitter <laughs> user Cheesy Beaver posted a picture of a charcuterie board adorned pleasingly with pickles, blah, 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 saying that her lunch only cost her $20. After posting that, um, others are getting technical about the definition of charcuterie, and others are still posting the difficult question, is a Lunchable technically a charcuterie? Good question. Well, yeah, it is. It's What does the actual word mean? That I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Charcuterie are just forced meats. Forced meats? Forced meats. Sausages. I've never heard the term forced meat before. Forced meat, yeah, because it's forced into a casing. Oh, okay. And then you generally smoke but, it to preserve it. But there's pickles, and uh, I don't understand obvious, the pickles. I understand olives. I don't understand pickles. Obvious callback to earlier in this segment, anyone? Forced meat? The thing I tell everybody on first meeting? <laughs> I love prosciutto. Pres- pres- Brzeut. Just say Brzeut. It's not Brzeut. Brzeut. You've never said that your entire life until you watch The Sopranos. Gabagool. Brzeut. It's, it's hey, pronounced what shoes do you have on? More, oh. more to de- uh, these are um, vintage um, Adidas stands. I don't have my. I don't like my um, Airbirds or whatever they're called. What happened to your Allbirds? What? what do you mean? They don't have half sizes and they're too tight. So uh, anyway, mm. do you want to discuss this? If Same you th- thing happened in my life. This guy says, if you think the actual working class are eating charcuterie, you're effing insane. They eat whole boiled fish and stick the whole fish tin in their mouth and pull it out by the head, leaving only the skeleton on. <laughs> they also eat baked beans and then use uh, the empty tin as a hat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we'll do this when we come back. That's great. Is charcuterie only for rich people? I think I think it is, and I have a theory about that. Right. I don't think you it can is. do all charcuterie that, for twenty dollars because you have to buy the whole. You got to buy all the stuff. Thanks, everybody. I'm waving. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you tonight. Right. At seven. Well, you're watching this. The videos will be up at seven o'clock tonight at that seven.